Hey guys, so I want to start on a new feature today and that is going to be messaging between users. So this is going to include using GraphQL subscriptions so it's real time. And what I'm going to be able to do is I can now go and I guess click on a listing and chat with the person who's the owner of that listing. Be like, hey, I'm interested and in maybe reserving it or whatnot. So that is what we're going to start coding up. And the first thing that I want to do is set up the back end to be able to do this. So I'm, we're going to be adding a new entity and this is going to represent uh, a message. So I'm going to call it message.ts and I'm going to copy the listing. Paste it in and then we can rename this to message. And database table, I'm going to call messages. It's going to have an ID. It's going to have text, which uh, can be pretty much any length. So I'm just going to call it text. And it doesn't really need to have any other characters or fields on this besides relationships. So I'm going to get rid of all this stuff and then just hop down to the bottom, the bottom two, which are the most important. So with this, we're going to set up a relationship that's going to be many to one with the user. So in this case, when I send a message, um, this is what it's going to represent. So who actually sent the message. And now I set up the uh, relationship on both ends when we set the listing. So when we come over here to user, uh, we can see that I said one to many over here and I set up the listing like so. And in this case, I'm not really interested in really grabbing the, all the messages a user um, has sent, at least through this method, because we're not even using this. So if I wanted to, with a user object, I could grab all the listings, um, but that's not really even something we're using. So I can just, just remove this part of the relationship and not even bother setting up the other end if I don't want to. So that's what I'm going to do in this case. I still care about the user ID though. And I'm also going to set up one more relationship. And this is going to be the listing. So it's going to be listing ID, which is going to be a string. And it's going to be one to many with uh, listing. So we need to import that. And then I'm going to say listing here as well. So that's going to be the type. And so this is whatever listing that we're chatting with or really we're gonna chat with the owner of it, but uh, someone could own two listings. And so in this case, the way I wanna set it up is I'm chatting with basically the listing. So it's not gonna share chat with the, say a particular user, it's per listing. All right, so this is my setup. Um, I now have database synchronization set up. So um, all the tables have already been added for messages. We can see the table has been altered here. So now I'm going to add uh, some code. So I want to start by coming in here and creating a new folder called messages or I guess just message since I just called it listing and this is under modules. So I'm going to create a folder called create and we're going to put resolvers.ts and schema.graphql. So I'm going to first create a uh, mutation in here that's going to create a message so I'm going to call it create not mutation but create message and so this is going to take some arguments and then I'm going to return boolean true or false whether it worked uh, the arguments that I want to take here is really just the message and then also what the listing is we'll get the user based on um, the logged in user so I'm going to say input message input and then I'm just gonna say text which is a string and listing ID which is also a string so I'm gonna say uh, I guess message is going to be a message input alright so the GraphQL for that looks good so now I'm gonna build this out the resolver for it and I'm gonna come over to listing create and copy that and actually that reminds me, there's one change I've been wanting to make in the listing. We can do that real quick. And that's right here. So I'm basically assuming that there is a picture URL um, and I'm processing the picture. Uh, and sometimes the picture is null and that's 
okay you don't have to upload a picture but right now it crashes because of that so what I'm gonna say I'm gonna say let picture URL be equal to null and I'm gonna say if there's a picture and actually I don't even need to do that we can just use ternary let's say picture otherwise null so there we go so if we have a picture if the person uploaded a picture we're gonna process it otherwise we just return null all right but we can copy this paste it over here now in this case we don't care about this whole store upload part but what we do care about is this resolver bits here now we're not going to be using listing we're going to be using message so I'm going to say create message and here I'm going to call this thing a message and then we still need the session to get the current user so we want to save that um, here we're not doing anything there so I'm going to get rid of that so here I'm going to say message and we're going to import that automatically I'm going to spread the message and then grab the user ID so when we create the message we're getting all the properties so we're getting the listing ID and the text from the message and then we're also just grabbing the user ID from the session right here and then we return true so I want to be able to test this out and see if messages are created so I'm also going to create a find so let's create a new folder called find I'm going to say schema.graphql and this is going to be a query and this is just to grab all the messages so this returns an array of messages um, and I guess I really want to display the messages for a particular listing so let's do that so I'm going to say listing ID which is a string and this is a required field and we're going to say you have to send an array back and message can't be null so let's create that type right now so I'm going to say message so right now I'm going to return in the message three things text which is a string oops don't capitalize that uh, the user ID which is a string and the listing ID which is a string all right now let's create the resolver for it and let's copy the find that we did over here now we might want to do a similar thing over here so I'm gonna just comment it out for now but we might want to grab the owner for the message so we'll leave that commented out we'll just auto import this so I'm gonna say find well I guess I just called it messages that works so in this case we actually care about what the arguments are so the first one is the parent which we don't care about but I do want to know the listing ID and I also need to grab the session because I need to know the user ID who we're fetching this for so I'm gonna say message and that got auto imported and now I'm gonna say where so I'm gonna find all the messages for a given listing ID um, now I also wanna you know narrow this query down to the particular user that's logged in so we're gonna use the session ID so session dot user ID to make sure we get the right stuff all right let's see if we have any errors in our code um, and if the server restarts correctly we can go check that out all right let's see we messed something up type boolean not found okay so I just need to give that a capital B and I'm gonna save this again and so first thing I'm gonna do is actually fetch a listing so we can grab its ID so that worked so I'm gonna say listings ID so we're gonna do all our messages on this listing right here and by the way I'm logged in right now as a user so we can get that person's ID all right so let's first I guess let's first query the messages so in this case let's refresh I want to get the messages 
for the listing ID that I copied there. In this case, I want to get all the things and then also the text. So let's make it pretty. And if you can't see, here's the what I have at the end there. Run that. Right now I should have no messages. Let's try creating a message now for that setup. All right, so the text, first message. And the listing ID is the one we have here. Let's prettyify it. So this is what that looks like. Oh, it doesn't let me bring it over anymore. Let's drop it to a new line. And we'll drop that to a new line. So we basically have an object right here that goes from there to there. And we're specifying the text and the listing ID. And now we don't expect anything back but a Boolean. So we run that. It got true. If I come back over here, I can run that. And I can see that now this is my first message. Nice. So now I want to add, maybe I want to see, uh, I don't think we really care to grab the listing per se, but we may want to display, for example, the user name of the person who sent the message or something. So in that case, what we can do is over here, instead of grabbing the user ID, we can say, oops, user, oops, I had my caps lock on. And then if I want to, I can grab that user. So the field is called user, so I'm calling it user here. And the type is called message, so I'm calling that message there. And we can use the same user loader that we did in the other one uh, for the listing because we want to fetch a user given a user ID. And we can grab the user ID because the message object or message entity has a field called user ID. So we can use that same code here. All right, so let's save that. Um, and now I can't just say user ID when fetching the messages. I got to say user. And let's refresh that so we get the latest data. Um, still hasn't refreshed. And it looks like it's just stuck so I'm gonna refresh all right so we can get the ID and the email make it pretty run and now we can see I was the one who just created this message so I can see their ID and the email that goes to Z at Z.com so perfect so nice so we have pretty much the infrastructure set up to be able to create and send messages um, or I guess just to create messages and then be able to view them with the messages query. What we're going to do in the next video is make this real time and add subscriptions. So whenever I create a message, the user can be alerted automatically that a new message is created.